Hey guys and welcome back to Valheim. In today's video I want to talk about the perfect Valheim world seed, right? So I'm talking about a seed that doesn't exactly make you travel the world as much as mine made me travel the world, where bone mass is located over here, the modder is located over here, freaking bosses all over the place where you have to travel the entire universe. I'm talking about a seed that is going to put everything in one small circle in the middle of the map, which makes things quite convenient for traveling around your world. So all you have to do is create a new world. Call it whatever you want. You can give it any single name that you want. I actually gave mine the name Perfect World. And then in the seed section, you're going to type capital I, capital X, 7, capital J, lowercase p, capital L, capital Y, lowercase p again, capital L and a lowercase d. And then you can create your world, and it will create a world with this seed that we're about to go in here. So I'm going to go into my Perfect World and show you what we're looking at. All right, so we spawn into this new perfect world, but what makes this world so perfect? So first of all, you're going to register your Ichthyr location. It's located near the altar, which is which is fantastic, right? So you're going to do the Ichthyr as soon as possible. I recommend setting up a base in the nearby area, preferably by this ocean over here, because it's going to be amazing. The reason why this whole world is amazing is because as you travel down this ocean, you can see the trader is located over here. And you'll notice in this little area at the bottom here, you can see it's actually not too far. If you look at the whole map like this, everything in the whole world that you need is located in this little circle of the map. The elder boss, the second boss, is located right over here. You can also get the third boss, Bone Mass, located right over there. The fourth boss, Modder, is located right in the stone mountains over here. And the final boss that is currently in the game, Valheim, is located over here, Yagluth. So this means all four bosses after the first one are located in the same area. So after you've actually defeated the Ichthyr boss, I actually recommend putting up a portal nearby the altars here because you're going to be traveling from this point onwards down to the bottom side of the map. So build a portal right around here in this area so that you can come here quite frequently to hand off the trophies to these giant stones. And once you've built that portal, you can actually start building a boat and we're going to actually travel along this coast all the way down. So I'm going to actually press the Z key here. We are in debug mode, which is like creative mode. And we're going to basically take a boat from this side here and we're just going to follow the coast all the way downwards. So just keep the coast on your right side all the way until you basically encircle this whole area. On the way, you are going to want to stop around this area over here. You can see as we get to like this weird kind of like black forest that's kind of thinned out like this, you're actually going to want to stop your boat somewhere around here and actually go into the forest just to unlock the trader, which we'll show here. There are many traders around in this world, but obviously when you find the first one, all of the other ones around the world will disappear and no longer exist. So make sure you, you grab this one because this one is nice and conveniently placed. Once you get down to this section of the map, I recommend as you hit the plains, once you see the plains like here, and you see those, that's the plains biome, I'm going to want you to turn around, go back up this section over here because we're going to go to this area over here you can see the meadows which is going to be on our left side heading back up here just so that you've kind of located yourself around this new kind of biome so i recommend actually setting up your base over here in this location you can see the ocean is right here so it's pretty great this isn't the black forest right here this is actually just more meadows the black forest only begins over here so you can see there's quite a large area of meadows over here which is basically there's a whole even a village over here that you can raid so this whole little area here is the meadows and i recommend setting up your main base for like in game purposes just around here so i highly recommend living over here because your next boss the elder is literally right above you and that will give you a good start to kind of mine the whole of the black forest over here until you're ready to deal with the bone mass monster over here which is great and once you're done with him you can come to the the snow mountain over here where modder's located and then finally Yagluth, which obviously this will take you quite some time to actually do all of these bosses but it's going to be nice that they're all within your like easy accessible range now you'll see there are these other icons that I've put on my map here where it says like Elder Stone, where you can see the Elder Boss is over here with the horned icon, that is the boss location where his altar is, but to actually get this icon you have to actually use that stone, the Vegislave Stone, which you can find over here. The Elder Stone is located on this little area over here, so I'm going to zoom out quickly so you can see. The Elder Stone is going to be in a crypt that you can go in on this little off-peaking little kind of like island peak. Go into the cave and you'll be able to find the stone that will register the Elder's location to be over here. For Bone Mass, you can see the boss is located over here. It's also along the river that you came down from the starting point, past the trader. It's going to be in the swamp over here. You can go in this crypt that's located over here to go in the crypt to find the location stone that's going to reveal where the Bone Mass monster is. 
The modder boss is really easy. You'll see that his stone location is right over here and it's going to reveal that he's basically located at the top of the mountain over here. So you're just going to hit up this location first and then you're going to be able to unlock over there. The final boss, Yagluth, is going to take you one of two directions depending where you're going to go. But you are going to explore the surrounding areas of the map anyway because you need to hit up some of these biomes like the snow biome multiple times to get enough dragon eggs and you know just to get enough loot around. So you're going to be you're going to be around this general area as well. You can see there is a Yagluth stone located on this little island over here, which is to the left of the Yagluth monster and the modern kind of monster locations. And there is also one in this area over here. So you can like basically go from your bone mass stone across to this side and then run across to there. Or you can play it safe and take a boat, go around and hit up the Yagluth stone from this corner here. Both of the Yagluth stones will be found by kind of like these stacking, like kind of like Stonehenge stones. So there aren't any like dangerous goblins and stuff in the area. So most of these should be really easy to, to locate and find. And yeah, I highly recommend actually using this biome if you're trying to save time and you don't want to travel too much around the world unnecessarily. It is a nice world seed and it was found by a user on Reddit called I Am Just Junior. So we owe him huge thanks for bringing the seed to our attention, which is amazing. It's pretty awesome. I did go around and find these boss stone locations for us because those weren't actually shown in his original seed. Because I know most players like myself would actually like to find the stone and play somewhat normally, just have the bosses in a, a easier to get location. I just wanted to show you that everything is locatable in the small section of this map. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful and let me know if you plan on using the seed in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching.